Hello, hello, hello. What's going on, everybody? Happy Tuesday. I just woke up. Figured, might as well play. Hey, what's up, Funky? How's it going, brother? Good morning. Or good afternoon to you. It's evening over there, right? 7 p.m., something like that. How's it going, Funky? Oh, we are picking up where we left off last night from Hogwarts Legacy. I just woke up. I have work in a few hours, probably about two hours. So figure we get a little Hogwarts in before. Uh, yeah. I'm so very tired. I didn't sleep. I slept well. But I didn't sleep as well as I could. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Protego! Incendium! Leviosa! Lumos! Come on! Incendio! Expelliarmus! I have to be careful, I have no potions. Oh yeah, this is kind of actually funky, it's kind of... Jesus scared the fuck out of me. Uh, this, this game is actually kind of like a souls like almost. So far, I have not been this game. Potato! Stupid one! Potato! 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 There we go. I was I didn't even check my sound bar. It's fucking loud as fuck. <laughs> that should be better though. Yeah, I was up so very late last night playing this game, but Yeah, you know, midnight release gameplay, when the game first comes out, it's always better. Oh. oh, my allergies are bad today. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Revelio. Oh, I see.
All right. I gotta remember to record bits and segments because I'm making a big old YouTube video about this. It's a good thing Jack Doe didn't fall down there. Uh, I need Accio. Accio! Almost fell off the edge. <laughs> I keep hitting Protego, but stupid. I really need to make some fucking healing potions is what I really need to do. Incendio. There's one one healing potion. That's good. There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. These can't be what the hell is with Jack to. See, I pressed lucky there. Why did it not work? Oh, you gotta be fucking shitting me, and I have no potions? Oh my god. I'm gonna have to use plants. Potato. survive this. I cannot imagine. believe I just survived that. <laughs> I 
I've made it through this entire dungeon without even, like, really needing to heal, which is good. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? I'll need to look around for the symbol. Must be getting closer to Jack Dawes remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jack Daw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jack Daw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Alright, let's fuck him up. Try not getting beheaded. Levioso, Accio, Incendio. Potato, Stupid. Accio, Levioso, Lumos, Incendio. I don't need higher gear, I need to fucking make potions, but I don't think there's a way to make potions just in the wild. Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. 
Incendios. Ooh. The gameplay keeps getting more fun and fun. What? That's unnerving. What's happening? What's happening? I've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. Luma, where am I? Oh no, the room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Lumos. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, shit. Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Points Alright, so that's the talent tree. That's pretty cool.
Incendio. I found the pages and them. So I guess we should have a combat one. And then have one. For functionality. Why would I need the book? You can't imagine how easy it is to grab a hold of the line. Send you. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with a book. Adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my class. Rebellion. Rebellion. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Get you back to your frame, little moth. The moth stopped. Perhaps I need to keep casting Lumos on it. Protego! Lumos. Solve the puzzle of that empty frame.
Sir, why do I need to complete these tasks again? Professor Weasley has asked that we all contribute extra time to help you catch up to your peers. And before I teach you to Pulso, I must know that you are prepared to handle it. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. Well, I mastered that. And now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Incendio. I'm going to have to use Akio to get those books. Got it. Only four more to go. Protego! Akio! This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Travel broadens the mind. Hello, librarian. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Oh, why are my allergies so bad today? My bedroom must be dusty. I must need to fucking I've upset Madame Green one too dust many times now. She wants to be back to dog reading death cab. I can spend all my dalliance.
Levioso. Lumos. Rebellion. <laughs> Incendium. Accio. the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Revelio. to the bathroom I'm gonna let her talk about hello so. Cressida I collected your books including your diary oh what a relief thank you I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now
Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. It is fucking soon. cold as fuck now, in this apartment to work right out now. Where <laughs> I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. I should probably say. Thank goodness award. some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. 255, I think. What time do I work? I work at 3 30. Honestly, today isn't that bad of a day either, though. It's actually going to be a pretty pretty easy day at work, hopefully. Hopefully. I'm not going to try and jinx myself, but oh, frankly, I'd rather limit my escape. I went to the gym yesterday, so today's a recovery day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rebellion. All right, thank God. We need to start flying around. Who do you think will fall from that? Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Yay! Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Let's do this. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. <laughs> this will take some take getting care. used to. The brooms are school ah. property. <sighs> I want I them returned in one this. piece. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Hey, Mikey, thank you for the posture check, brother. How's it going, bud? We just unlocked broom flying, Mikey. <laughs> this is rather fun.
And I've got to say, it's actually really way smoother than I thought it was going to be. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. This Let's is hope crazy. The headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Imagine this was your, like, campus for school. That'd be fucking awesome. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. A bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Bitch. <laughs> All right, so can we Sorry buy a broom about that now? Business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. All right, to Hogsmeade we go. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery. I thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. 
Please meet me in the seventh floor <laughs> corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your stuff. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. Good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. A wise decision. Thank you. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. The question is, do we have enough for a broom? Assuming not, but we'll see. Wonderful. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality it. and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. 
What are we looking for today? 600, I have 200. Nice doing business with you. Fuck it, sell everything. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancement? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the up... As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. An ideal situation for collecting flights to... I could complete work... That sounds intriguing. Thank you. It'll be worth... The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imel... Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Unicorn blood will keep you alive, certainly. But at what cost? I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Revelio. No, nothing. I'm flying! Oh yeah, now we're moving fast. Dude, this fucking world is massive.
Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Revelio. That Pippin should have been here by now. Always late that Pippin. Could it be a Merlin trial? Revelio. by now. <laughs> Always late that Pippin. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. <laughs> cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? A fine choice. Exactly what I would have chosen. Yeah, I need all the potions I can get. Revelio. Okay. Accio. Oh, that worked. <laughs>
This must be where the Pink Smedley family astrolabe is. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again, and I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. You do. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all... Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me. Struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me. My paintings. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here. Just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> I wish it had been under better Rebellion. circumstances. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn.
Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm j What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Ah, yes. A wonderful choice. I hope to see you again sometime. Rebellion. <laughs> An encampment. This must be it. Looks as if the I will regret not joining us. He doesn't cut round now. He'll be made even more of an example. You've been paying attention. What do you think? See what's up his sleeve this. Levioso! Is that the best you can do? You're the best! Incendio! Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to arm. <laughs> uh, 
this over here. Rebellion. If you're here for my wares... On. I have good news. I don't, I don't know what to say. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. All the best to you. Once my cars arrive, I'd be happy to show you my way. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I came. Incendio! Where's the grand staircase? Oh my god. 1238, I gotta get off 
soon. And go to whack. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Revelios. This looks like the right stuff. Now, what was the password? Descendium. Goodness, who knew this was all down here? A lift must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Levioso. Oh. Oh. I gotta use the bathroom again. Need to fix the lift before I can use it.
Yo. Oh, sorry about that. I just had to get dressed for work. Because I do have it in about 50 minutes, which is not bueno, but it's okay. Hey, what's up, Squeezy? What's up, Boomer? How you doing? What's going on, friends? Let me know, sir. Accio. Expelliarmus. Incendio. I don't think I can access it yet. Your balls itch? That's fair. Akio. Rebellion. Accio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. How we doing today, Boomer? Besides, you know, your balls itching. Dude, there's just so much to explore. Well, it's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Yeah, I'm seeing that I and I'm not on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Mm. That there's one oh, what's the name of this fucking room again? I remember there's a big fight in here. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones.
Incendio. Excellent. All right, now I need to go learn this spell. The room of requirement is definitely something we need to also do. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the I send you the enchanted books here. Deposit. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spellcasting. Hell the fuck yeah. Alright, let's do room of requirement first. Handy resource indeed, your field. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? 
off to you, Professor. What is this place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Lumos. He must have sneaked fast and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Repair all. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Splendid. Cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Levioso. Lumos. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Revelio. Lumos. Is that... goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Depulsa. Levioso. Akio. Lumos. Levioso. Lumos. Is there sp something I'm specifically looking for, or just... I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Lumos. Stop them! No, not that. That's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Lumos. 
Lumos. <clears throat> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Lou, was that a golden snitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Akio. This room I hope is that fucking... house elf can find us in here. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. All right, after this cutscene, I got to get going. In fact, I'm going to grab my shoes. given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Protego! I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, 
I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room. I see. Can I regain resources by... You can indeed. Why don't you give it a try? You should find both the... You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any question. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need it. Good luck. GG, y'all. Uh, I'm not even going to have time for an outro. I got to get going. I have work in 15 minutes. But anyways, I hope you all had a great time. Um, I'll be back on later tonight. So anyway, y'all, peace out.